guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while but things have been freaking nuts. I know a lot of people say 2020 is many words. <laughs> many many words and I can come up with quite a few. <laughs> but y'all I am just, I, I would like to say I'm done with it and I just want to move on and Hope next year is a better year, but um, as y'all know, hopefully, or not, I don't know, um, you know, the whole pandemic is starting to make its second round, um, doubly, and it has hit home um, with my mother, who um, just tested positive for COVID uh, the other day, so <laughs> um, I am just a little PO'd. <laughs> To say the least. Um, yeah, so I don't know if next year is going to be any better because it's the end of the year and it's starting to get worse. So I don't know what to say about all of this other than I'm mother effing done with this shit. And uh, I've been like to take this COVID, shove it up Satan's butthole, <laughs> and make him eat it. I don't know what I'm saying. Any hoosers. Moving on to the, yes, today's video, super excited, but kind of annoyed. Let me get into that just a tidbit. And yes, I know y'all, the intro is kind of long like they always are. I apologize. Okay, sorry. Hashtag not sorry. Um, I found this on Facebook. It popped up. I'm like, say what now? Ooh. My husband is a cheeseburger fanatic connoisseur. Along with pizza and pasta. I will have to say those are his three things. Cheeseburger, pizza, and pasta. So, and then to make it in an eighth roll. Bye. So, this is by Twisted UK. I think I have reviewed a few of their recipes and I want to say I was just as frustrated with those, but hence why I review recipes. So, um, I watched the video because it was a video and, um, it looked super simple, quick, easy, ingredients, awesome, phenomenal, cool beans. Clicked on it because normally you click on it, takes you to the recipe, ingredients, print it, boom, Bob's your uncle, Susan's your aunt, and you're good to go. I clicked, 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 couldn't find what, where to go. Then... You can go to Pinterest, search for it, click your cool beans. Went to Pinterest, did that, took me back to the YouTube video, could not find it. I'm finding people saying, oh, thank you for the recipe, this, that, and there. I messaged, hey, where'd y'all find the recipe? No answer. I went on to Twisted Facebook, messaged them, where can I find the recipe? No answer. So, um... I kind of just had to take notes on the video as it went along super fast. Pause, write it down. And the ingredients mostly were in grams, so I had to convert from grams to cups, this, that, and the other. So, you're welcome. <laughs> That's another thing I do. I will always take, if it's in grams or something like that, I will convert. I'll leave it in grams and I'll also convert um, to US, so that way y'all don't have to do that. So, there you go, okay? <laughs> Wait, I don't know what that is. That, is that a or should I, is that a path? Moving on. Um, so I had to do that, and the instructions on how to to fry them. There's no what your oil temp should be at, how long they should be in there, how many times you flip them. This, that, and the other hoosers. So, um, I'm gonna have to wing that. So if they don't come out perfect, that's why, guys. I get a pass. Okay. Huh. I debated. Should I use my Ninja or should I use my oven? The new how sexy, sexy bitch here. Um, because we're fresh out of fucks here. Thanks for Jane. Um, so I'm gonna go with the oven because huh, in my booklet, trying to figure I'm not gonna get into it because I'm just gonna again. So we're going with the oven, which I had to read that manual too. You guys, I'm sorry. I'm going on and on. I apologize. We're going to pop over here because we also have a new station. 
uh, sexy bitch here has a, a stud muffin to go with her. So we're going to pop over here instead. Okay, so let's go. Let's check it out. Okie dokie. As always, and forever, each moment with you. <laughs> yes, I did serenade you. And you're welcome. Love you. So we got a ground beef, which I have already browned, and I did all my prep last night. Thank you, mise en place from Amberell. <laughs> beautiful, I love you. Anyway, ground beef, and we've got our bacon. Look how beautiful and beautiful that bacon is. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen how amazingly and beautiful I cooked it and cut it, and it's perfect. I love you. I take pride in my cuts and my chiffonades and my lardons. Anyway, god dang it, I'm sorry, I apologize. And we've got our mustard, our catsup. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna back this the heck out. Oi, chew this up. Too close. And we've got our pickles. Like I said, I pride myself on my cuts. Look how perfect and even those are. Oh my god, I love you. Okay, salt and pepper. Salt, 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 salt and pepper here, salt and pepper. I love salt and pepper. Anyway, yeah. Our sesame seeds. Hi, sesame seeds. And look at these guys. You're like, what in the hell are those? Oh, no. Guys, check them out. Those are caramelized onions. And guess what I caramelized them in? You're correct. Bacon fat. I left the grease from the bacon in there because that's what the video did. And I caramelized them. No, they're not burnt. They're just beautifully caramelized. You want to smell them? Smell. Take a smell. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's right. I did that. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Love you. Okay, so let's move on to the spring roll wrap hairs. That's right, I wrapped. Okay. So, the beautiful wrappers that they used were square. I could not find square wrappers. And yes, I am having anxiety over it because I wanted the square ones. The squares are perfectly perfect for what we need them. And I don't want round ones, but all I could find were round ones. So you guys, look at what I'm gonna wrap them on. <laughs> A poop tray. <laughs> Only because I, I found it cute and uh, yes I have numerous cutting boards I can use but I'm in the mood to use my poop tray so that's what we're gonna do ladies and gents let's get set up and get this party started right sorry forgot to mention <laughs> I have a little cup of water and some little paint brushes now I, I have two because I'm not sure which one I want to use I haven't decided that yet um, I will just see which one works the best and I'll go with that and I have a tray lined with foie owl. And my oven is telling me 400. Okay, so it is pretty simple and straightforward. We have our ground beef. And we are just going to add all of our ingredients. I'm going to plop in all of our bacon. We're going to plop in our caramelized onions. I'm going to add my pickles. Oh my gosh. So I was super, super excited about this recipe and then I was super super bummed when I kept clicking and clicking and that's <laughs> you know I just don't understand if you're gonna and twisted is a, is a big one that's like going to delish or tasty and you can't find the recipe and I'm trying to find these people who are like oh yeah I have thank you for the recipe oh it's a good recipe I made this last night it was delicious and I'm messaging all these people, and I'm like, where, where the hell did you find it? And then messaging them. Many. Um, and not messaging. And I'm like, well, um, can you help a sister out, please? Because I'm trying to review this. Thank you much. And no response. I'm like, well, you know what? S sit and spin, y'all. Sit and spin. That's all I gotta say to you. Thank you much. Not freaking bottles see clean the air clean it right and our mustard 
So that was very frustrating. And then, so I'm, you know, looking at the recipe and it's telling you to put in, you know, the bacon and stuff. I'm like, why, why did you call it a cheeseburger and not a bacon cheeseburger? Oh my God, y'all. I just, <laughs> something shiny syndrome attacks once again, because <laughs> I don't know what it is, y'all. I don't. Maybe I need to go back to my neurologist and say, please help me, because I'm losing my damn mind. Oh, I forgot another ingredient. Thank you guys for reminding me. And you're all like, uh, so what makes it a cheeseburger? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry for forgot an ingredient. I'm mad. <laughs> but check it out. Cheddar cheese. My, can you call these um, string cheese? But they're in with the string cheese. So I just you cut a bunch of them in half, but you just make sure that you get the cheddar cheese because you know, you know what I'm saying. Dang it, work with me here. I'm not all there, doll. So yeah, that makes them cheeseburger egg rolls. But you have the bacon. So why don't you call them bacon cheeseburger egg rolls? You see where I'm going with this? <sighs> Name it properly, people. <laughs> okay, so then we got the salt. <laughs> and then we got our pepper. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. And then we're gonna give her a mixy mix all together and make sure it looks beautiful. And then we'll be right back, okay guys? All right, so just to show you my setup that I have, I have my ground beef mixture, my cut up cheese, Got some paper towels because I always, I'm a messy one. <laughs> so I do have my poop tray underneath that and I googled what is the best surface to roll spring rolls on and it suggested a damp paper or paper towel, a damp towel. So I have a damp one and then poop underneath. <laughs> I got my egg rolls which I will open as soon as I'm ready to get started. And I got my water, my two brushes, and my aluminum foil sheet tray right there. So, I'm going to get started right here, and let's do this, guys. So, apparently it might help to read your package directions, too. Whatever. So, per instruction list that comes with your whatever. Place wrapper into warm water until it's pliable. About 15 seconds, it says. Remove and blot on a damp tea towel. So I didn't need Google. Whatever. So, anyway, that's what we're gonna do. And check this out. Are they fun? What about that? And look at that. I'm driving. Anyway, so I now have a bowl. I got a bowl of warm water. Up at the top, and I'm gonna dip it for 15 seconds. Mm -mm. Okay, don't play with it too much, otherwise it's gonna rip. So, um, what they did in the video is they took, uh, it was three tablespoons. We're gonna go this way. Yeah, I think so. Three tablespoons in the middle. I mean, he filled that sucker. We're gonna go with that one. This way. Make it like that. Cool. Cool beans. And then he took uh, the piece of cheese, put it there, and then he put one more on top to encase the cheese. He, she, I'm sorry, I don't know what, what it was. He, it, I don't know. Whatever. So, okay. Well, my fingers are freaking dirty. See, that's why I have paper towels. See? I knew why I grabbed them. And then, well, see, I guess I don't need the, the water then, since it's all, well, I guess it got sticky again. I mean, dry. It feels dry, so I'm just going to add more water so it glues itself. Right? I don't know. I'm just doing it because it felt dry, and I want it to adhere to itself. So, then we take the bottom, and we flip it up. Oh, this is super fun. Then we fold the sides in. Make her look prettier. Like so. Mm, this is 
a creeper. Sorry for in the way. I apologize. And then it has you roll it this way. But honestly, I think we're just going to... See how it's sticking? Yeah. I'm just going to do that because I didn't want it to... I don't want it to rip. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. <gasps> I did it. I did it. I did it. Do you see that? Well, okay. Okay, so yeah, just... You know, if we need to, let's grab some more water. Brusher. Give her a good brushing. Okay. Tell her, do you do what I say? Because that's how this goes. Kind of brush her. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Brush her up this way. See how that's working a little bit? Oh, see? It's working. Yeah. Tuck her in like that. And then we're just going to plop her on our tray, and I'm going to keep on going. And uh, we'll be back. All right, guys. So, not going to lie, because I don't lie to y'all. This did take forever and a day. So, it is now um, 20, 25. <laughs> just kidding. Um, it took me, what is it? An hour and a half to do this. So, it is time consuming. But, y'all, now it... Yes, it does kind of look like something we will not mention, but they are beautiful. I'm just going to say, <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, suck it. Wolfgang Puck, hey, give me a call. Food Network, sure. I'll make an appearance <laughs> for you anything. But any hoosers, look at, look at the pickles in there, poking out. Pickle and bacon and somewhere in there, cheese. Coming to my husband's fizzes and mouth hole, care blaze, soon. So, there we have it. I got 14 of these bad boys, and they are stunning. So, I have some olive oil in here, and I washed my, well, I didn't have to because I only used water, so I just dried it off because you don't want extra water on these things. I'm going to brush the tops very lightly. I'm going to place them into my oven. Now, let's talk about this for a sec. So, I debated whether or not to use my Ninja, uh, what are you, your Ninja foodie fryer thing? Whatever. Anyway, it's a Ninja. Hi, Doc! Um, or my oven uh, to do the air fryer. <sighs> you guys, neither one, to be honest with you, was any direct with their um, instructions. So, I'm going to wing it, okay? And again, I'm going to repeat... I was super excited about this recipe until I couldn't freaking find it. So, this is why I'm having to wing it. And I still wanted to do it because, I mean, cheeseburger, egg rolls, spring rolls, people, I mean, I wanted to bring it to you because, I mean, it's freaking awesome, right? I know, right? Okay, that's right. Thank you for agreeing. I love you. <laughs> Um, so yeah. Um, but anyways, god dang it. You know, somebody make me their shirts, okay? Because I keep saying I'm gonna have my shirt made and I don't because the something shiny still gets to me. Anywho, so what was he saying? Son of a biatch. <laughs> They're bouncy. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. These things are fun to play with. Anyway, oh, one thing about them. If they do rip, don't worry about it. These things are so resilient. Just pull the damn thing over like a blanket and just smack it and be done with it. It's fine. My God, you're just going to put it in your pine hole, right? And who's... Damn it, I forgot what I was going to say again. Anyway, I'm just going to brush it. Give her a good brushing. Make it look beautiful. Boop. Smack it. Mm, mm, like that. Oh, put it in the oven. So, um, the oven said, this one, my new one, that I've never seen because it's a space unit. God dang it. Might as well be Bluetooth. Oh, you think it is? <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, technology. I'm not with it. Sorry. Um, it says it automatically puts it... 60 degrees higher for some reason why why do you automatically assume that i want you to be 60 degrees higher 
Um, if I wanted that, I would have pushed you that high, right? So don't put numbers in my hands that I didn't push, okay? You bossy bitch. Shit. So anyways, um, the ninja said to fry... No, I had to go on dumplings because it didn't have spring rolls. I mean, why? Why have dumplings and not spring rolls? Anyway, whatever. 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm assuming that this is going to be the same in that one. So like I said, I'm going to wing it. See how it comes out. Whatever. So given that it said 60 degrees higher that I didn't give you permission to do. Fucker. Um, I'm going to do 340 and uh, keep my eye on these little things. While they're in there to make sure oh and as you saw I removed the foil because um also in the pamphlet for the oven thank god make up your mind I swear to god a female on her monthly probably wrote it because she was very indecisive in her wording so thank you Mooney McMooderson for writing that and not being very to the point because I'm going to write you a letter, okay? I'm going to rewrite your goddamn book for you, so you're welcome. Um, it was foil on, and then it was foil to catch the drip, and then it talked about, oh, well, only for chicken, chicken wings. This, why y'all ain't going to put spring rolls in there? Where are all the Asian dishes or the Hispanic dishes that I'm going to make? Why well, just got to be chicken wings and ribs, okay? Anyway. Sorry about the little pants. It's going in the oven. And I'm going to watch them for 10 to 15 minutes, okay? And then we'll be back. And then hopefully they'll be perfect. And I will have made this recipe into something that y'all can make. And eat. And put it in your tummies. Because my goal is to make y'all happy. Okay? Okay, I love you. We'll be back, okay? Coming to a screen near you. I love you. Guys, okay, so here is the sitch that is happening over here and now before your eyeballs. Goddamn mess, right? Right. I know. I agree. I agree. I agree with you. This is the very first fail miserably recipe on my channel and I am more than pissed to be honest with you. Oven lied to me to my face uh, and we will have a discussion about it later and she will be punished accordingly um, with a very nice self-cleaning uh, round maybe two to teach her a lesson. <laughs> Wash her mouth out, right? That's how I'm going to teach that dirty bitch. Anyhow, so what we have in front of us, guys, is essentially, you know, bacon, cheeseburger, spring rolls that are not uh, air fried. And the reason why I didn't do deep fry, let me explain this too. I didn't want to do deep fry only because I'm one of those people that I do not like to have my house spell, spell, smell like deep fry oil for two weeks. And as you guys know, or if you don't know, we just moved into this home not too long ago, and I don't feel like having it reek of oil for two to three weeks. <laughs> so, and we're out in the country. I don't know if the oil is going to attract bugs, and we already have creepy bugs out here in the woods. So I ain't about that life right now. So that's why I didn't go the deep fry oil. So, any hoosers? And uh, there's my Liam, who's going to have a little kitty mukbang in the background for you <laughs> so um we are gonna do with what we have um like i said they are edible they just are not what they are supposed to be sorry i'm angry and i'm hitting the damn plate with my beautiful re drumming knife <laughs> uh so my husband loves honey mustard so his favorite is sweet baby ray's honey mustard so that is his uh on the side i have one here one is on his plate um, I did try to, because our microwave has a convection oven option, so I try to put that even into the convection oven in our microwave, and, um, it kind of made it, um, 
a little more crispier. No? No? Okay. It, I guess it went away right afterwards. So, whatever. I tried. Damn it. So, whatever. I'm just going to cut this one open and see what we've got inside. So, and the other ones I have back here on a baking tray lined with uh, paper towels. And another thing here. Um, I barely brushed the tops of them with the oil and they just released a shit ton. So, but they're still on here and um, as you can tell, they're, you know, degreasing over here. So, any housers on that one. So, that one is through my hubbits over there. Um, I'm going to chop this one on the by S. Why? Because that's what the fancy people do. Oh, we got a crunch of itch mask on that one. Okay, well, I can do that. I can do that. Do you want to chop yours? Yep, give her a good choppy. Oh, he's got some nice bacon going on on his. Oh, how do you do to you? That's beautiful. Well, they, and I'll tell you guys this, they smell freaking phenomenal. They absolutely do here. So, you know, you know, I'm just, I'm so frazzled and annoyed and PO'd that I have a first beyond fail. And I was so, so bummed. But let's check out, oh, it is pretty, look at that. You got the cheese action in the middle. That's pretty, right? We got that going for us. If you suck, at least you look good. <laughs> and look at, you got the cheese right there in the back. You see that? You can see. The one cool thing about the spring rolls is, I do like their transparency so you can see all the ingredients that are in there. Obviously, normally it's sushi. Um, but like I said, this just caught my eye because, you know, the cheeseburger and the spring roll and it was supposed to be, yes, deep fried. But like I said, I chose not to do the deep fried. You know, I should have read up on my shit. I know, my bad. But anywho. So if you pick this recipe and if you decide you want to try it, attempt it. Um... I wish I could give y'all some better tips and tricks at this point, but as far as any tips or tricks will go, um, I think the only ones that I could give you that might help you if you make this is uh, making them on the damp tea towel. Um, that would save you any stickiness from any other surface as far as a, a wooden cutting board or any other cutting board or surface countertop. Um, the damp tea towel is probably the best route to go. That would be one of, that I could give to you. Um, absolutely. Doing the deep fry and the oil would probably have been the be better route to go. For sure. Um, like I said, I just chose not to because I didn't want the home to smell like bowl for two or three weeks. Um, just was in the mouth back tonight, but probably would have been the better route. Absolutely. So, like I said, she's on timeout and I'm going to wash her mouth out. Self cleaning button is going on. <laughs> I hope you somewhat enjoyed this recipe uh, review type of deal thing, um, damn it! Thank you to all of my new subscribers, thank you to all of my old subscribers. Like I said, look forward to uh, a three-way collab next week. Oh my god, what? <laughs> and, before I go, oh, guys, I want to show you something. Um, just got this in the mail today, and I need to thank my sister, who was just here, my twin sister. Um, for a visit. Oh, super exciting. And she sent me something in the mail. <laughs> you bad girl. And I want to show you because uh, my favorite animal is a swap. Um, and yes, I call them that because it's cuter than saying swamp. See, I can't say the wrong one. But um, I want to thank her because look at guys. Look at. Can you see my knee? 
You see it? A small swap. See? It's my favorite animal, just so you know. Because I love them. They're super cute. And it's from, this is not sponsored because I'm fucking nobody. So why would it be? <laughs> Maybe by Walmart. What? Walmart? Sponsor me. Love you. It's by a pervi Pervita? Pervita. In Colombia, it's Pervita. Um, live free, okay? Is a state of mind. You guys, I'm telling you this because it's beautiful. It's a state of mind. It means celebrating good fortune, living life to the fullest, and not taking anything for granted. Which, when she came here and she had one, her and her daughter Kayla were, uh, they have one, and it was beautiful, and I asked her about it, and to her and I, this speaks miles. Endless, endless miles. Um, if you don't know about us, I have videos that explain our condition. <laughs> and I think at one point I'm going to sit down and actually do a video about that, because I've been getting um, questions about that. So I think I'll, I'll do one of those videos so you guys don't have to go back and try to find it. And I'll do a video labeled that. And then um, I'll just link it. Um, uh, it's founded in Costa Rica. And it helps provide full-time jobs for artisans worldwide. And there are hundreds, hundreds of different um, necklaces, bracelets that you can purchase that go to different... Um, Charities. This one, this one just happens to go to. You see that? Save the swamps. <laughs> Amy Marie, thank you. We're gonna save the swamps. <laughs> so I got, she got me one, and then she got one too, so we can match. So I'm gonna ship hers to her on your way, Amy Marie, with your heated blanket, girlfriend. <laughs> but on top of that, twice, beautiful stickers. I mean, these stickers are absolutely beautiful. They are just, look at it. Look how pretty they are. Look at that. There's a sexy girl surfer. And look at these beautiful flowers. And we got a, it says Pro Vida, and it's a shell. Look at that. And the colors, they're so calming. And whenever I get stickers, my husband and I do this, and we've even gotten stickers purposefully. Where, what store did we go? Zoomies, was it Zoomies? They were having a clearance sale on their stickers. And um, we got those, I don't know where cup is. I have ones at home. Same box. And I, well, I have one that says, my spirit animal is a swap. <laughs> we put them on our cups. So that's where my stickers go. Consider my cards. I'm not, I'm not one of those people who, you know, like my card with stickers. But anyways, so thank you, Eve Marie. And um, Mom, I am saying all my prayers. And if I can ask you guys, please say prayers for my mom who just tested positive for COVID. Um, I can't, you know, obviously I can't be there with her. She lives in Idaho. I'm here in Georgia. Um, so it's been very hard for me. Um, so yeah, mom, I'm saying all my prayers. I love you. <sighs> and he goes, I'm not going to go on that route again. <laughs> Emotional. So you guys, I hope all of you are safe and doing well, as well as your family members and your friends. And... I can't believe it's already December. My goodness, what the hell's happening? But um, I'm sorry for this. Uh, but I hope you guys give it a try at least. Give it a try. You guys deep fry it and all, and tell me how it goes. Send me pictures because I would like to know that. Um, other than that, <laughs> I'm gonna shut my mouth and end this because <laughs> you're tired of it and I'm probably tired. I don't know. Whatever. From my home and my heart to all of you, I love you so, so much. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for joining me on this crazy journey. Ah,